Marjorie L. Everett was a commanding presence at Hollywood Park for the better part of three decades and definitely left her mark. Part of track management in various capacities, including chairwoman, chief executive officer, and president from 1972 until early 1991, Mrs. Everett oversaw some of the golden moments in the track's glorious history. Early in her time at Hollywood Park, Sunday racing became a reality. The first card in Southern California occurred April 15, 1973, attracting a crowd of nearly 41,000. Another first during her tenure was a tote bag giveaway. The promotion was an overwhelming success, leading to a single day attendance record of 80,348 on Sunday, May 4th, 1980. Hollywood Park also introduced the pick six to the local wagering menu in 1980, adding what remains an extremely popular feature, the carryover, three years later. Additionally, the track played host to the inaugural Breeders' Cup in 1984, an event Mrs. Everett fought hard to bring to Hollywood Park. The historic day featured an unforgettable classic, won in thrilling fashion by a huge long shot, Wild Again. Big dancer on the upside, what a finish! was also a proponent of what later became a Hollywood Park fixture, Friday Night Racing. Mrs. Everett's wish became a reality in 1988. In celebration of the track's 50th anniversary, the first Friday Night card was run on June 10th. Racing with the moon. That is what she was a friend to many in the entertainment industry, and the evening lured numerous show business icons, including Clint Eastwood, Jimmy Stewart, Milton Berle, Don Rickles, and Bob Newhart, Merv Griffin, Robert Wagner, and Burt Bacharach. Mrs. Everett was also friends and associates with Elizabeth Taylor, Angie Dickinson, Cary Grant, John Forsythe, as well as President Ronald Reagan and his wife, Nancy. Very close to legendary jockeys, Bill Shoemaker and Lafitte Pinkai Jr. and their families, Mrs. Everett was instrumental in future Hall of Famers, Chris McCarron, Eddie Delahousse, and Kent DeSormo choosing to ride full time in Southern California. Mrs. Everett also enjoyed success as a horse owner, winning the 1975 Santa Anita Handicap with Stardust Mel, and the 1972 American Handicap with Buzz Kashi right here at Hollywood Park. Now it's Buzz Kashi in front drawing out. Buzz Kashi, single agent, and Worston Chef on the outside, and Buzz Kashi is the winner by two lengths, single agent second. Both horses were ridden by Shoemaker and trained by Charlie Whittingham. For the very first time, Betfair Hollywood Park proudly presents the Marjorie L. Everett Handicap.